Good morning everyone. Another session of Tao Overflows. What is stress and how to overcome? Stress is improper use of human intelligence in a particular situation. Stress happens when your intelligence is hijacked by emotions. Each one of you has inborn capability of intelligence but in seed form. You have to allow it to evolve, grow, to attain to fruition first. Only then you can learn to utilize this capability whenever the situation arises. The problem always begins at a level where it can be effectively managed. However, when its cause is not understood, problem gets accentuated and eventually becomes multidimensional. The problem begins or arises due to interaction between identity crisis and ego sense. The crisis is always followed by complete negligence of the cosmic law or what Nanak calls as Hukum. In the first sutra of Japji, Nanak says, When will there be dawn of truth? Kiv sachyara hoye, kiv kule to tepal. Hukum rajai charna, Nanak likhya nal. When will there be dawn of truth? And when will the ego sense and identity crisis dissolve immediately as a soliloquy he responds hukum rajai chalna nanak likhya nal flow with cosmic law that nanak calls it a hukum everything is happening in a synergistic harmony the plants, the rivers, the mountains, the sky, everything is happening in a synergistic harmony. You do not know why is this happening and what is the significance of this particular event that you are unable to understand its role in human life, in your life. In Mayor of Casterbridge, Thomas Hardy speaks through a clergy. Why do miseries and misfortune come to a clergy? Then he gives us answer in a soliloquy through the clergy, simply to enhance the favors of Almighty. Cosmic law means everything that is happening in and around you has an important role in the process of evolution and transformation. When during autumn leaves fall, the tree becomes bare, but it is important in the scheme of existence. The tree goes in hibernation. Thereafter, when winter is over, the season of spring comes, there is new foliage and gaiety all around. So too, in the process of transformation, different seasons come in a chronological order. This is what Nanak calls as Hukum or the Cosmic Law. In Western thought, there is an axiom that attention, when you break these two words, it is at tension, is really nothing but thinly disguised form of tension and what is awareness because it requires concentration which is definitely another form of part of tension again awareness requires tension however behaviorists view of human condition is that life fluctuates between relaxation which is like a vegetative state on one extreme 
an arousal which is a hyper excitable state in other words a normal lifestyle is to find a balance between these two opposite forces in this contrast east have a totally different notion it gives the example of driving in driving there are wings mirror there are rear view mirror there are sidewalks that's a dashboard the children sitting at the back playing the music and then you have to worry about the the ticket and then the answer that you have to give to your boss in your office for your late arrival all these things play an important role so driving is considered as a stressful occupation that modern mind modern human inflict upon themselves we live a lifestyle that is very different from the one that shaped our evolution as a result our nervous system does not always have the chance to respond effectively to stress nervous system does not have a chance to effectively respond to stress this can occur happen when we repress our fight or flight these are the two instincts for maintaining an outer appearance you have to create an image and in for creating the image you do not even care to lose your own innerness so two options are available either to fight the situation or to run away from that situation because you have to maintain your outer image or when in a situation you are in disempowered and overwhelmed you know only these two options to fly or to fight you do not know any other option and these two situations arise when life presents simple questions for which you do not have an answer and you have two choices either to fight or to run away from there there is yet another situation another option in the same situation which is transcendence of this you remain always unaware and even if we somehow know this you ignore it as impractical option you do not consider the transcendence is possible then repression becomes embedded in the nervous system and musculature as chronic stress and this continues to increase in other words without realizing it we remain constantly on high alert thus chronic stress undermines our health and well-being and not only this but it affects our ability to operate effectively in any particular situation in any particular situation certainly we can consciously restore balance to our nervous system for this you need to practice certain revolutionary techniques that activate relaxation response of your parasympathetic nervous system and thus trigger 
body's innate ability to rebalance itself. Body has an innate quality to readjust and rebalance itself. This way you will gain more confidence to use the technique on your own whenever the situation arises. Otherwise you have to depend on someone to help you to come out of this situation of stress that life creates for you. Breathing is natural and easiest method to restore relaxation and create the inner balance at the level of the body and mind as well. There are two levels, body and mind. Relaxation is necessary at the level of the body and at the level of the mind. You have to, when with proper breathing, breathing practice, first the body becomes utterly relaxed like and you become like a small child. Then you can start with the mind. You have to move scientifically first with the simplest and easiest method, easiest option. Then you have to move to the more complex and ultimately to the core. Relaxation really changes your behavior outwardly. If you are relaxed, your outward behavior will change. You will be more calm, more quiet, and it will change the quality of work as well. Your, when your understanding changes, your quality of the work also changes. Interaction and understanding, then interaction and understanding will be more artistic and more graceful. Whatsoever you will do, it will have an artistic flavor and not only your action but your presence will become graceful. You will be committing fewer mistakes than you used to commit earlier. So relaxation is the key factor. Relaxation at the level of the body and at the level of the mind. Then you will be committing fewer mistakes than you used to commit earlier. There will not be a situation of insecurity, unexplainable fatigue, anxiety, chronic stress, restlessness, irritability and symptoms of dysregulated nervous system. You will be more calm and quiet. Thus, free from the state of chronic stress and tension, you will feel free and more alive and a relaxed state of awareness that will surround you. So what you will happen, then all kind of insecurity, unexplainable fatigue, anxiety, chronic stress, restlessness, irritability and symptom of dysregulated nervous system will dissolve. And you will feel a free state of life and tension will begin to be dissolved and you will feel a tension-free life, more alive, more relaxed, a state of awareness. Thank you very much.